everybody, I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you how to change your sound and display options on your Kindle Fire. Now one thing that a lot of people like to do when they get a new smart device like the Kindle Fire is change their sounds, notifications, and their display. So let's check out what we can do with those options on Kindle Fire. Now from your home screen, you want to tap on the gear and you'll see your quick settings. But from there, we wanna tap on the more button. And once we go there, you'll see a few options down. We have sounds, so let's choose sounds. And once we tap on sounds, we can choose our volume with a slider here, or we can tap on notification sounds. Now there are all kinds of different notifications you can choose from. For example, we have pixie dust. We have voila. And we also have caffeinated rattlesnake. So you can choose what sound best reflects you as a person. And once we've done that, we can actually use the back button to go back to the settings list. And right underneath sounds is the display option. Once we tap on display, we have two different options, just like we did in sounds. We have a slider for our brightness. And remember, the higher your brightness, the quicker your battery goes down. And we also have screen timeout. Now that's how long it takes for your Kindle Fire to go to sleep once you've left it unattended or don't touch the screen. So you have different options here from 30 seconds to never. Now never will obviously drain your battery a lot because your screen will constantly be on unless you manually put your Kindle Fire to sleep or shut it off. Since we read a lot of books on our Kindle Fire, we'll pick five minutes. And once you've done that, you have customized your display and sound options on your Kindle Fire. That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.